It was Bromstead of exploring Tasmania and the big toll in the United Kingdom. It was Brom, Brom, Bromming his way along the White Beach Hook when who do you think he saw? The men is red, white and blue. Who, who, Brom? We're just heading who told them you Sam in England, said Red. For little famous cars, said Blue. Because we're little famous, said White. I might have a look myself. I'm heading to mine in Cox, said Brum. It's got one of you in it. But we call her who that. We've got boxes to take who. He's visited Glenarchy. Always coming this way towards Avon, said Blue. While they talked, the cuff and stiff car came up. I've got. Oh, that's still less small than your son Dractor would never discover that, said White. We've got three things that need to hurt who Vienna's car, you men is plus me living in Europe said Brom, better get moving. Who we all went to watch Avon together. Boxes went first, as he wanted to get who by himself. He didn't want his manager to find Brom's talk with him that was mixed in the loose, shootless case. Now the menace had helped him out of the museum. The small cars one full next. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Ron didn't tell me there was a trap. And, just as he expected, the discovered themselves in Bacton in England. Who at last, said Bum, let's find your mule sham first. I like to look in it before I get to cut who the men is did best mingle in the large traffic carefully meet, things are big, said Red. We left Beckton Harbour and we, we went looking for the new sun. It wasn't far, it was just a few hills through 
a toll turning to the left, passing a leap by. There it is, said Brum. We'll just get a ramp to get in. There isn't a need. I've got it, said Boo. Quickly, Boo. That is coming, said White. Coming upon the door, reporting the ramp, pushed the door open, then went inside packing up the ramp. This is where we park. The display stands that Edward dropped us in. The curator hasn't questioned us on Vienna we visited. said White. You can look in the roofs, so you can remember where to look, said Blue. I will. I wonder if I can find Charmy Austin servants like me. Bum started to explore the new farm in time for the visitors to visit the mills. He saw the lift who went up to the top room. On reaching it, he saw Ruby Austin servants. Oh, Bram. We've been invited to the museum, said Alku. Hello, Luffy. Good to see you again, said Bum. I read your book. It was lovely. Thanks. We all uh, you were heading to Koch. I'd be careful if I were you. Fix and back. Uh, to work in the scrap farm. He may be working, but keep your distance. We saw him in there not wishing to enter it, said Dark Blue. I'll bet he'll plot revenge on you. I'll not want to get headlight contact. I'll see more cars than her who daring drive again, gulped Brum. Oh. After looking in the new sand, Brum decided to who to catch who. He said goodbye to the miners who out of the museum, then onto the highway. Suddenly he saw the blue van come driving up to him in his direction, kilometers in front of him. Brom got off the route into a field, then went across it, not sure where he was cooping. Six making revenge on me, I best not take the meal in case he causes a highway disaster, he gasped. Six he watched was wondering where his target had gone. Where's that car? I'll give him bananas if I knock him, he grunted and spat. Brom didn't stop. He didn't want to get caught in the field. Just ahead, 
he saw trees which gave him an advantage to sneak through. But before he could coop in the woodland, he heard a roar. He looked back to see Rick had spotted him and was crossing the field. Bram quickly sneaked through the trees, finding the other side. This was a ward. The earth was flat and there wasn't a space big enough for his to touch him still. However, he looked for who in case he would think ahead to catch him unawares. <coughs> then he came to a school with something to walk on. A path, he piped up. This might help me find cars. Ooh. It must be a way out of this world. Try not to dare yourself to get away. From me, a quick turn, looking up at a blue speck. Oh horror! Oh misery! Oh bewilderment! Frick was sneaking through the trees. Bram sped off on his getaway. He knew the walk path wasn't big enough for the doorless van to reach him, which surprisingly he managed to lose him the third time. Then he came to the other side and saw a familiar landscape. This must be my route to the big town. I'll tell the police to get that car back in the scrapyard. But he should be left in there with who answered. Thinks Brom. True, he did. He went driving to the police station. An officer met him and he portrayed his chief course from Fick as he left the moose arm. I'll choose a perfect timing to take his engine off him. We've had enough of him as a terrible terrorist, said the officer. Meanwhile, Rick managed to reach the other side of the ward, not using the walk path. But he didn't call on the police, and before he could find Brian, the officer blinded the van with a bag of sand, stopping his engine to let him pull off the spark plugs. Mm. Brom came up to take the van to the scrap arm. <laughs> Serves him right for cheating my friends. That's the first and last time I should see him, said Bob. 
that's enough spook excitement for one day. Time for me to to my mocha. And off he went, drumming, away from the scrapyard, all the way. Ooh.